You know, the book of Hebrews is an interesting New Testament book. It's one of the books that we actually don't know definitively who authored it. Some say it might be Paul or, or Barnabas or, or a handful of others of those early church fathers. But one thing I do like about the book of Hebrews is that it gives such great clarity to the Old Testament. I've often heard it said that if you opened up the book of Leviticus or Deuteronomy and then the book of Hebrews right next to it, it would bring so much clarity as to how Jesus truly fulfills the law. And I've heard it said that the book of Hebrews was written to Hebrews to show them that they didn't have to continue to be Hebrews to be those that followed after God. And the author speaks to that in the first verse of chapter 2. Listen to what he says. He says, So we must listen very carefully to the truth we have heard, or we may drift away from it. You see, the book of Hebrews is all about the supremacy of Jesus Christ as our high priest, as our great savior. And here's the interesting thing about knowing Jesus. Knowing Jesus is so simple. He is the one who has taken our sin, paid our debt, and died our death so we could live his life. But don't you find that it's so simple to get away from that simple truth? To think that there's something that you have to do, something that you have to complete, some, some mountain you have to climb or some dragon you have to slay to have God's favor, to, to see God work in your life. See, here's the simplicity of the message of the gospel. Jesus said on the cross, to tell us die, it is finished. The debt has been paid. God is no longer angry at you or upset with you. His wrath has been satisfied because of what Jesus accomplished on the cross and through the empty tomb. So today, instead of trying to, oh, I need to be like Jesus for him to like me, here's what you need to do. You just need to like Jesus. Just like him, because you know what? God already likes you. His favor is available to you through his son, Jesus. So as the author writes here in Hebrews chapter two, verse one, he says very simply, listen very carefully to the truth, or we may drift away from it. Every day, remind yourself that God loves you, that he gave his son for you, and your faith is in him. Therefore, you're his child, you're a king's kid. And don't ever, ever drift away from that simple, beautiful truth that Jesus loves me. This I know, for the Bible tells me so.